In the haunting silence of Earth's distant past, a saga of intelligence and mastery unfolded. Picture a creature not governed by sheer strength alone, but one that orchestrated its hunts with the precision of a maestro and the intellect of a strategist. Prepare to journey through epochs shrouded in mystery, where the true daunted emerges as an enigmatic force to be reckoned with. True Dauntids, a fascinating group of small to medium-sized theropod dinosaurs, hold a distinct place within the intricate dinosaur family tree. These creatures are classified within the theropod clade, a diverse group of bipedal, carnivorous dinosaurs. Furthermore, True Dauntids share evolutionary connections with other well-known theropod groups, such as dromaeosaurs and birds, which adds to their scientific significance. The classification of true dontids often sparks discussions among paleontologists due to their morphological traits that link them to both birds and other theropods. They possess a combination of bird-like features, such as large brains relative to body size, along with sharp, serrated teeth and distinctive claws on their hands and feet. These features create a bridge between their theropod ancestors and the avian lineage. In terms of their phylogenetic placement, True Gauntids are often seen as close relatives of dromaeosaurs, sharing similarities in skeletal structure and aspects of their lifestyles. This proximity hints at shared ancestry and raises questions about the evolutionary paths that led to the development of bird-like characteristics. The debate surrounding their precise classification continues to drive research and illuminate the complex relationships between various dinosaur groups. True Dauntids, a group of small to medium-sized theropod dinosaurs, boasted a distinctive array of physical traits that set them apart within the prehistoric world. These characteristics combined to create a bird-like appearance and lifestyle, making them intriguing subjects of study. True Dauntids typically ranged in size from about 2 to 7 feet in length, though some larger specimens have been discovered. Their bodies were slender and agile, well-suited for a variety of movement types from rapid sprints to potential tree climbing. True Dauntids, the small to medium-sized theropod dinosaurs, displayed several distinct characteristics that set them apart with their bird-like adaptations. One such feature was their relatively large brain in relation to their body size. This unique trait suggests a higher level of intelligence, potentially allowing for complex behaviors and problem-solving skills. Additionally, True Dauntids had sharp, curved claws on both their hands and feet, these claws were versatile tools that could have been used for grasping prey, climbing trees, or other activities. This adaptability in their claws likely played a significant role in their hunting strategies and daily movements. Furthermore, Trudontid's teeth were serrated, indicating an adaptation for slicing through flesh. This suggests a diet primarily centered around capturing and consuming small animals. This specialization in dentition aligns with their role as predators within their ecosystems. The presence of these bird-like features alongside their theropod lineage offers valuable insights into their evolutionary path. The fossil record of Trudontids provides a window into their existence during the late Cretaceous period, offering valuable clues about their biology, behavior, and distribution. The initial traces of Trudontids were unearthed in the late 1800s in the form of partial skeletal remains. These early discoveries were often fragmentary, leading to some confusion in accurately understanding their unique characteristics. One prominent example is Trudum formosus, identified from fossils found in North America. Known for its relatively large brain and specialized teeth, this species contributes to our understanding of Trudontid's adaptations. Another species, Sornifoids mongoliensis, discovered in Mongolia, provides insights into the global distribution of these creatures. The discovery of Zanabazar Jr., also in Mongolia, has added to our understanding of Trudontids' evolutionary history. Trudontids occupied regions across the globe between 85 and 66 million years ago. Fossils have been discovered on various continents, including North America and Asia, reflecting their ability to adapt to different landscapes. Trudontids are thought to have occupied particular ecological niches as predators targeting smaller to medium-sized prey. Their lightweight builds and potentially agile movements could have facilitated their pursuit of prey through densely vegetated areas. Thank you for watching this video. Until we meet again, let's keep being curious, continue to uncover the secrets of our planet's past, and appreciate the beauty and complexity of the life around us.